Hello everybody, today is Thursday, April 20th, it's 4.10 p.m. The time in sales is on my left, you can see the E-mini S&P trading at 23.51.75, 23.52, it's 4.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we have another video update for you today. Before I continue, first the required disclaimer. Okay, first up is the NASDAQ on the Super Echo 10 tick. We did 1190 for the day here, and we took very little heat. It was almost straight up, mostly thanks to this long trade at 11 o'clock in, in the morning. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on a 2500 tick chart. This has been performing really well. This is using the line break logic. Once again, uh, the indicators giving really solid signals here. I actually manually exited the trade right here. It probably would have been stopped out over here somewhere, but I manually exited the position right here, and this did 1,025 for the day, and this was excellent performance again. Uh, yesterday was really good as well, but we've seen this chart quite a bit recently. Okay, next up is the 30-year Treasury bond on the Superenco 2 tick chart using the line break logic. These are our line break signals here, along with red bars. We went short, long, and short. We had three winners in a row. Really well-placed trades, uh, well-placed exit here at the bottom of this swing, uh, 14.68 for the day. Our goal on this, I'm pretty sure, is 1,500, and indeed it is. So this was very solid performance on this chart these three trades back to back okay first time ever plotting this chart a 5000 tick line break chart and this did 56250 on what looks to be two trades we had a loser okay next up is the e mini s&p on a 5000 tick line break chart this is the first time ever showing this chart Kind of a new setup for me. This had uh, a loser to start, drew down about $275, and then came back with this winner. And we did 562.50 for the day, which is pretty good. This is trading three contracts. Okay, next up is the DAX on the Superenco 14 tick, and this did 11.12.50 for the day on two contracts. Uh, I also manually exited this trade at the close of this bar, kind of uh, forecasting that it would go short, and it, and it did. So that's it for this chart, 1162.50 on two contracts. Next up is the 30-year Treasury on a 377 tick line break. We've seen this quite a bit. Some excellent place trades here. Four winners in a row, and this did 1468. This hit our goal of 1500. I'm pretty sure we have a 1500 dollar goal. So really solid performance on 377. Okay, next up is the bonds on 150 tick line break, and this is trading three contracts, I believe. And we have a goal of 1,500, so this also hit its goal, probably had a tick of slippage at the end. But this one had uh, a loser in the beginning. This actually drew down quite a bit, about $650, and then came back with three winners in a row to match the 377 tick chart, although it did it in a different way. Okay, we had quite a few trades on the crude oil Superenco 6 tick chart. It ended up with 750 for the day. Uh, still really good for the crude. This one's trading two contracts and is, and is the 6 tick Superenco using the line break logic. Okay, this is a chart that I haven't plotted before. It's the Japanese yen futures on a Unirenko chart. And this had quite a few winning trades, ultimately doing 8, 12, 50 for the day uh, using our line break algorithm. 
Last but not least, another chart of the bonds. This is a five tick precision Renko with just 132% reversal. And we had a partial loser here, a small winner, and then a nice winner. This did 781 and a quarter, uh, trading three contracts. That's all for today's video. If you'd like to find out more, please visit our website at bluewavetrading.com or send me an email to systems at bluewavetrading.com. Thanks for watching today.